Hello everybody, today is clay day. Um, today you will be getting a ball of clay and we always work on a clay mat like this. When you receive your clay, you're gonna want to just start to warm it up between your hands, okay? So that kind of compresses the clay in the ball and gets it all working together um, when you get started. So you're just moving it back and forth. You're um, pressing it between your palms and packing that clay in together until you get a nice round ball. So that's what you do to start with your clay is warm it up between your hands. Now today, if you are making a slab type of clay project, you need to use your palm and be strong with your palm. So you're gonna set your clay down onto your clay mat and start to press down with your palm. And you're going to have to be strong with it and you're gonna keep pressing down and spreading that clay out until it is as thick as a cookie. So right now, if you look at my clay, it's kind of uneven and bumpy. And normally cookies are a little bit thicker than this, so I'm gonna keep going until it's all even, and I'm gonna kind of rotate my clay around as I'm pressing down with my palm. And I'm always pressing from the center out. Don't get too close to the edges because you don't want your edges to get too thin. Okay, so I see this side I could use I'll press that side out a little bit more, but then once it's all about as thick as a cookie, that's what you want your slab to look like. If your clay's too thick, it takes a long time to dry and then you have less clay to use. If it's too thin, it can break. So that's how you would make a slab. Whenever I make a slab with clay, I love to add texture into it. So you're going to have an entire bin of texture tools. There's fabric that you can press into your clay, other tools that have textures in them that you can use to press into your clay. So you're welcome to try them out. But what I would do, instead of putting it on top of the clay, I would pick your slab up, set whatever texture tool you want down, then set your slab onto it and press down with your hand. That way it's all going to evenly get that texture. So I'm just, again, using my palm to press down and get texture into my slab. Then I'll carefully pick it up and voila, there's your texture. And you can do that with any of the tools in your bin. Your next step is then to cut a shape out of your slab and it can be a rectangle, square, heart, circle shape. You can cut your own shape. Um, there's plenty of tracers in the bin. If it doesn't quite fit, you can kind of spread it out or just make it work with what you have. I'm going to use a square one. It's close to fitting um, and you can use a wooden or a plastic green tool in your smaller bin to cut around um, that tracer and cut your slab into a shape. Anything extra that you cut off, make sure you ball up so that that clay doesn't dry out. Next, you're adding things to your slab, thinking of the different ways you can use clay. One thing you can do with clay is you can make a coil. So that's rolling the clay between your palms, making a long, skinny worm or snake. This can be used to make a frame around your slab. Um, a coil can be flattened out. Um, so then it's all even. That could be turned into like a flower petal or another shape. But a coil, um, it can be rolled up to make a spiral. There's so many different things you can do with coils. Another thing you can do is in first and second grade, you learn how to make a pinch pot. You could make a little mini pinch pot by rolling your clay into a ball, pinching it around and making kind of a cup shape. This, again, can be turned into a lot of different things. It could be turned into a flower. It could be turned into whatever you want to turn it into. So that is a pinching method. Or you can make a mini slab with clay that you have left over. This can be a little bit thinner since you're adding it to your slab. And you can cut shapes out of that to add um, using your tools. Or I have like pill bottles or marker caps that can cut out circles. Um, so that would be by using a slab. This marker cap is also great for adding texture to things as well. Those are just a few methods. One last one is making a ball shape, squishing it flat and pinching it. That's a teardrop. That could be a flower petal. That could be a beak for a bird. It can be so many different things. Now, when it's time to attach, you have to score and slip. You can use either the toothbrush or the green plastic tool to make little lines, which is scoring. And then dip either your finger or the toothbrush into water 
to make slip, which is clay glue. Score, make little lines, and slip, make clay glue. And you do that on what you made and where you are attaching it to. You make little lines and add a little bit of clay glue, water, and then press down and make sure it's attached. Score, slip, and press down. You will have two bins at your tables for clay day. One, the larger bin is going to have your texture tools, so things that you can press into your clay, um, like fabric and things like that, that you can press into your clay to make a texture. Uh, also in this larger bin is going to be tracers, so different shapes that you can trace for your slabs. That will go into the larger bin. Your smaller bin is your clay tools. So things that you can use to cut things. Um, there's wooden and green plastic tools. Um, there's stamp um, tools to, to make different shapes. And then some of them will have a toothbrush for scoring and slipping. Remember the green tools can be used for that as well. But those tools go into the smaller bin. Um, please make sure everything gets returned to the bins at your table when you are done. Clay day is such a fun day. Make sure that um, you are using good craftsmanship. You're doing your best work. You're being creative and having fun. I can't wait to see what you create. Good luck.